to quickly get you guys up to speed, I was looking for a little bit more power in my C5 Corvette track car, and I wanted to install a camshaft that'd be great for getting out of turns. So we installed our signature Low Boost Films track weapon cam, which is great between 3500 and 5500 RPM. Of course, when we install it, we don't look at the cam bearings. In addition to the lifters and push rods and everything else for the supporting mods, we also threw some milled 243 heads on there with dual cone valve springs. But we had a slight issue at startup because we heard this sound. <laughs> So for your guys reference, the proper way to check this is after everything's torqued down, back the bolt off a half a turn. And if you can spin the push rod and the rocker, it's more than likely that your push rod length is a little bit too short. I'll put a link in the description to this awesome push rod measuring tool. It'll really make your time a lot easier like it did mine, as well as this micrometer because you're gonna wanna get the exact measurement of that push rod measuring tool. Once I got that measurement, I was able to order the proper length push rods, and this is exactly how I did it. Okay, so after hearing that lash, I ordered longer push rods because I think that's my problem. So what you wanna do after you put the new push rods in to test the, the actual measurement, is you find one that isn't compressed. Like this one's sticking up higher than that one. Um, so this one, if I tightened it down, would be actuated. So I'm picking one that where the, where the push rod is down all the way, there's no load on this. So the way to test it is you, you tighten it down with a screwdriver. You can't, I can't tighten it anymore with the screwdriver. Then you take the screwdriver off. Then you take your socket. You're, it's not gonna get torqued down. You wanna have it so you can check and see exactly how many rotations you can do before it stops. If you have half a turn or less until it's tight, the push rod is too long and if you have more than like two rotate, one and a half to two rotations, the push rod is too short. So we're gonna stick this on and we're gonna measure rotations. So let's start here. That's half. One. And there's one, a little bit more than one rotation around. So that means that this push rod should be perfect. Before it wasn't even a half a rotation that did it, uh, or, or it was too many rotations that did it. The push rod is way too short. So these push rods are the correct ones. I think they're 7.4 inches. The other ones were 7.8 or 3, 7.375 and the new ones are 7.4. These actually measure, my 7.375s actually measured closer to 7.3839, and the 7.4s were actually closer to 7.41, but I think that's gonna work. So let's go ahead and tighten the rest of these down. So the car is still untuned. So the only thing that I wanna do prior to actually getting it tuned is I wanna throw some cutouts on this thing to let it really be able to breathe. So we're gonna do that in the next video. So make sure you guys hit the subscribe button cause I'm doing that very, very soon. And then it's gonna get tuned and we're gonna hit the dyno to really see how much more power the Low Boost Films track weapon cam produces. Thank you guys very much for watching. In the meantime, check out these videos that I already have ready to go.